Hello and welcome to the next game of Rugby for Unicorns. We play against Scottish. I just did an entire half of commentary and I found, I found out it was not recording. So excuse me if I'm a little bit peed off. Um, this is to make up for the bye week. Uh, us and Scottish didn't have a game, so we'll uh, play the last game of the first round of games. Um, this week, Unicorns looking like uh, Mimi, Natalie, Martha, front row. Martha's gone into the front row, but she's very experienced there. Mabel continues in the second row because she's been playing so well there. Row goes back to number eight, where she's played many, many times in the past. Anouk comes into the center with Flo, and they are outside Mandy and Constance as the halfback pair, as always. Tanisha, the speeds are out wide, and Coco, solid as always, all season at fullback. And uh, luckily, we have plenty of subs this week, ready for a big game against Scottish. We do start this week uh, with a bit of sad news for everyone who knows. Um, unfortunately, on Friday, uh, the day before the game, uh, the club sadly found out that uh, Alex, our chairman, our friend, our brother, uh, had sadly passed away. And so we start the game with a minute silence. Uh, those who knew Alex um, knew that even though he was the uh, the chairman of the entire club, the men's and women's, he was a huge advocate for the ladies. And not only that, he used to spend many of his Tuesday nights down with myself, coaching the ladies, getting to know them. The girls knew him, the girls loved him. I knew him, I loved him, for, uh, and uh, and it's been a huge loss for the whole club. So we start with a minute silence to remember Alex. And uh, as we believe would be his wish, uh, the girls and the guys continue with their game the next day to to play in his honour. So we start today's game playing right to left. Kick off from Constance and a wonderful tackle by Coco. She followed that ball very quickly and put on a huge tackle. Scottish straight away under a bit of pressure. Nice tackle by Liv. Pressure by Mimi and Florence. So ball's gone deep into Scottish territory. Great tackle by Natalie and Mabel. Uh, Scottish have it deep in their own half, and oh, Florence. So Florence somehow managed to steal that ball. I think uh, everyone was a bit shocked by that. So ball popped to Natalie, but I think uh, she wasn't expecting it either. I don't think anyone saw how the hell Florence got her hands on that ball. So I think uh, not expecting the pop. So as I mentioned, starting very quickly and very strongly in defense by Unicorns, put the ball nice and deep and great tackles early on in the game. Everyone looks very riled up for it. Very emotional. Start to the game with a minute silence, a lot of tears shed and stuff. So nice to see the girls are, are putting that emotions into the into the play early on. Scottish with a pick and go, that big number eight. Mandy does a fantastic job of getting her hands wrapped around her. Brings her down again, not making much space. Mabel and Natalie again with a double tackle. A nice duo in the midfield in defense there so far. Hands out again. Liv doesn't quite get the tackle, but Slows the girl down for Martha to hit her nice and hard. Florence trying to make a nuisance of herself there. Slow the ball down. So, still Scottish ball. They go again. Quick hands. Nice tackle by a nuke there. A lot of Scottish possession, but uh, University tackling holding up so far. Row again, great tackle. Tackling's been fantastic in this early part of the, of the half. Ball out again. That's what happens. A lot of pressure in defense by Unicorns. It's just Scottish in a lot of uh, under a lot of pressure, and now it's quick turnover ball. It is a knock on advantage, so we'll continue on. Unicorns want to get this ball going because they're in a fantastic position here. Nice surge forward by Natalie. Quick ball out from Mandy. Martha taking the ball running, makes a few meters. Again, just getting the girls on the front foot. Nice ball again. Mimi doing a great job running onto that ball with some speed, and look at the difference that makes. Oh, Natalie's just fallen over. Mimi's a little bit isolated here, but a fantastic surge by her. Took the ball running. Constance out of nowhere has collected that ball. A uh, protector, sorry. And out to Nuke. Lovely hands out to Jane. That was a wonderful, wonderful try from University early on. That ball came from a great defense to begin with. And look at this. Mimi running onto the ball. Look at the difference. Takes our ball running. Smashes through that first tackle. Natalie trips over her own feet. So 
Mimi ended up uh, on her own a little bit, so a bit of a danger, danger here because she didn't quite make it to the line. Constance out of nowhere, great mindfulness to just go in and protect that ball. And then Mandy, assertiveness, just get that ball out. Quick ball, she knows we're on the front foot, get that ball out quick. And Nuke runs at the outside girl. Make sure Jane's got plenty of room. Little pop. Try for University. Wonderfully, wonderfully worked first try. Um, great defense. Pod's hitting her up with, with aggression and speed. Making that that surge forward. Constance did a great job of, of protecting that ball. She was so far away from it. So really, really great job from Constance. That could have really messed things up because they could have stole the ball. And then Mandy had the mindfulness of just get that ball out quick. She knew we were on the front foot. Girls were surging forward. And Nuke knew exactly what to do. Take the ball out wide a little bit. Make sure that Jane's beyond that last defender and just a little pop off. Unlucky by Constance for the uh, conversion, so we continue on with Unicorns winning 5-0. Again, forwards taking that ball running. Martha pirouetting like a ballerina through the middle. Again, girls running forward onto the ball. Look at the difference it makes. As soon as they're surging forward onto that ball, taking the ball running with some speed, they get past the gain line. Constance looks to pass it, nothing on, so she takes it herself. Big hit from the from the Scottish, look a bit high. Again, these uh, these tackles are supposed to be below the sternum with the with the rules that we play. So, referee's playing a bit fast and loose with the high tackles at the moment. Oh, should I say not not loose enough? Again, great footwork by Natalie, taking that ball, moving forward. A great improvement from last week. Girls have been working really hard on uh, taking the ball at pace, running onto the ball, and it's looking fantastic so far. Every single time the the forwards get that ball, they're making two, three, four meters, if not making a break and then making 20 meters. Although Shannon May got the ball now for Scottish. Lovely tracking tackle by Martha. She pops it off though. Oh, referee's called it. Not sure what that was for. Maybe uh, Shannon May dropped the ball. Remember, uh, some of these girls who play for Scottish, they're from Shenzhen, so we actually know them. They used to play for us a couple of seasons ago, so we know the danger of Shannon May and uh, Natalie, who's making the tackle right now. Used to be our girls. Uh, unfortunately, the merger with Scottish meant that they went over there to play. Uh, Mandy this time just get pulled out again. It's a couple times in the last few games we've had girls get get pulled out at that, that um, touch line. Just got to make sure that when you get close to that line that you fight to stay in. Rowe was there to protect the ball but just got dragged out. Okay. Scottish now with a turn to attack. Nice hands. Coco with one great tackle. And another tackle. Wonderful work from Coco. Doesn't It's not scared of getting stuck in. So Scottish go again. Defense earlier was really strong. Let's see if we can do another good set. Florence with a great like, pull down, and she's managed to steal the ball. Wonderful work from Florence. Single handedly tackled and then stole the ball and presents it lovely. Okay. Ball slowed down a bit now, so University's got to start building up again. Nice take from Mabel. Need me there to protect the ball. Oof. Ball was a little bit hard and a little bit high for, for Natalie there, so uh, knock on. So be careful with those little uh, dinks over to the forwards. If they're running onto the ball, don't want to be blasting it at them. Just little uh, soft touches. Nice tackle by Martha again. So even though... Oh, we'll go back for the for the knock-on. Nothing coming from, from Scottish. So yeah, even though Scottish have had a little bit of uh, a little bit of possession, sorry, um, Unicorn's looking very, very comfortable in defence. Not really too worried. Wonderful drive by unicorns and i think we're getting pinged for the 1.5 meters so this is a, a a rule i talked about last season it's a stupid fucking rule um so we play under 19s women's rules uh which means i think it's under 19s maybe even younger just means that the the, the scrum cannot get pushed past 1.5 meters so the expectation from the referees is that these girls are not experienced enough to, to, to scrummage properly like full scrum great tackle by my uh, martha um, and so therefore they're expected so they're saying that these girls are not experienced enough to do a regular full scrum so they're saying you're not experienced you're not experienced yet then what they're saying is these inexperienced in air quotes girls can push 1.5 meters forward be dominant be moving forward at speed and then are expected to stop instantly with all the pressure and pushing from behind them it's a uh, stupid bloody rule Anyway, we'll continue on with the ball, uh, with the game. We uh, again great tackling by University earlier, forced the uh, knock on. Went on a bit of a rant, so we didn't see what was going on. Um, but again, defense has been very, very solid. Uh, 
Mimi again taking that ball running. And this time she gets past the tackle again. Almost exactly the same as last time. But this time I think she's going to make it all the way. Great try by Mimi again. Almost exactly the same line by Mimi. And it just goes to prove how effective that ball is when you run onto it. Taking the, the contact into your own terms. She dips that shoulder. Explodes into the contact. First, first uh, defender doesn't have any chance whatsoever. But the difference is, compared to the last few weeks, is because we've gone past the first defender with so much speed running onto the ball, that even when the second or third defender get there, we haven't slowed down. We're still going fast, and it's very, very difficult then for them to stop us. As in the first try, if they do manage to stop us, we're all moving forward and very easy to, to follow up with a try. This time, Mimi didn't even need a, a, another phase. She just went the whole way herself, so... Great to see unicorns really, really running onto that ball it, it, as pods. It's just, it's exactly what you want to see. It's it's great rugby. It's intelligent rugby. Hitting up a few pods, getting out wide. It's exactly what we should be doing. Mimi again surging forward after the try. Mabel there to support her. Natalie this time. Takes a big hit, but again makes the yards forward. The ball is protected every time, so it's a nice clean ball. Mimi taking it, taking it again. Doesn't quite make as many uh, yards this time. I think uh, Scottish are probably like, uh, making a target for her now. So now a few phases out to the backs. Bit of space here. Pops out to Coco. Coco's got a bit of space. Again, lovely pass out to Anouk. Anouk. Oh, where's the ball? Go? The ball's popped out. I think Anouk might have kicked that. Referee's continuing the game. Coco. Oh. Just gets tangled up under her feet. Coco was so close. We've seen her do that before in the past. We've seen it before in the past. Uh, great, great steal from um, Constance that time. Constance had no right to steal that. That should be a forwards job. Great job from, from Constance. I was just saying that we've seen Coco score those little dribbles before. She's a great footballer. We've seen before with Florence kicking it out in front uh, last season especially. Coco, if she gets the, her foot to it, can, can really control that ball really well. So very unlucky there. Just bobbled the wrong way. As we know, the ball can go any way. So unlucky for uni Unicorns. But this time, in a very strong position. So now Unicorns just need to do some sensible things. Right. Martha's picking gone now. So now Unicorns really want to reset now. Think about... And go again. So this is what happens week in week out with unicorns. So we we saw earlier if the if the ball goes through the phases, we can score tries. But then sometimes you get that white line fever. Again, we're just picking and going, picking and going. It's not it's not going to do anything. It's messy. Really need to reset at this point. Slow it down. Reset. Get one, two, three pods going. Suck the defenders in and get out wide. Anouk tries to go on her own, but again the the defense is set already, so they can tidy that up. Okay. Florence makes it out though. T with a bit of space. Oh, she cuts back inside and just trips over her own foot. I think if T just had backed herself there a little bit, I think she could, could have gone the whole way. So again, uh, something that we do need to keep working on is this um, this end game. It's funny that when we're in midfield, we're happy to go through the phases, do what we need to do. One, two, three, through the forward, suck the defenders in, get on the front foot and go out wide. As soon as we get close to that, yellow, uh, to that white line... Things sometimes get a little bit, uh, a bit messy and a bit out of control, and that's where we don't do so well. Constance now with a bit of space checks her run, tries to go again, can't get past her. Fights to stay on her feet though. Good work from Constance, giving uh, her supporters plenty of time to get there to support her. So again, now uh, University, what they really need to do is start building up from scratch again. So through the phases, first job done, great work by. Natalie and Mabel. Second pod goes around the other side. Again, taking the ball running. This is what we're saying. We can see how effective it is when we go through the phases pod by pod. Don't pick up and go when we're close to the line. Third pod. Okay, that's three pods in a row now. So now maybe uh, Unicorns can look at going wide. There we go. As we mentioned, this is how we do it. Hands out from Constance to Florence. There's so many girls out there. Funny, funny, funny how everything works out when we do the things we're supposed to do. Uh. Okay, so Unicorns worked really hard to get up to that try line earlier. Uh, couldn't quite get past it. A lot of pick and goes. We got to stop those pick and goes on the try line. Then we got reset back a little bit. And so then we went through the phases as we, we're doing so well. Actually, it's perfect rugby.
when we're going through the phases it's absolutely champagne rugby it's it's hitting up two three pods by the forwards taking the ball running sucking defenders in then it's quick fast hands by the backs it's it's absolutely fantastic rugby constance oh, just a little bit wide there she was a bit rushed because there was an issue with the t t wasn't there so she had about 10 seconds to kick that ball so unlucky by constance there so we continue on 17 nil to unicorns Unicorn's looking very dominant in this game in defense, in attack, everything's uh, looking very comfortable. Sometimes that's that's the uh, the reason that things go a bit uh, awry when we're close to the line because if it's if we're finding it a little bit I'm going to say easy but comfortable, then we try to go ourselves. We get that white line fever. Whereas if we just go through the phases as we as we know we can, that's how we uh, that's how we're going to win the game every time. Great surge from Martha. Makes a few meters. Good. Second pod's ready. Again, taking it running. So again, making those few yards. Now all of a sudden, Unicorn surging into towards the halfway line. On the front foot. Wonderful work by all the forwards here. Now it goes out wide. At the back of Florence. Out to Coco. Oh, she goes for the offload. Didn't quite get it. Smart defense by uh, Scottish there. They try to just block that pass. Because I think the nuke would have been away. So we go again. Mimi again making a few meters. Again we build it up. Natalie. Very aggressive. Taking that ball running. Fantastic surge by her as well. It's a lovely clean ball from for the forwards. So a few a few phases and now we go out wide because there's a bit of space. Out to Florence. The nuke's got a lot of space. She's a little bit flat on that one. Ah, referee just called it. Uh, Nuke just needed to check her run there, be a few meters further back, and that would have been try time all day long. So again, University proving when they go through the phases, when they build it properly, they're absolutely unstoppable. The forwards are playing a phenomenal game, taking each pod, taking that ball, running, aggressive, making meters, getting the girls forward, 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 and then sucking the defenders in. It's going out wide. Maybe this time with a lot of space to run into. Scottish letting her run, letting her run at them. Not a good idea. Again, second pod. Martha spots a little bit of space out wide. I'm not sure if they're going to get her. Rose there. Pops it off from... A pop-off from uh, Martha to Row. Nice. Try again. Unicorns are just playing unstoppable right now. Just absolute wonderful rugby. So Martha sees a bit of space out wide. Backs herself to go for it. Almost could make it the whole way around. Just gets caught just before the line but wonderful work from Ro she checks her run and she makes herself available for that pop the offload is great by Martha fantastic um, vision to see Ro there to support her nice. try again unicorns this is turning into a real real good day for unicorns they're playing absolutely wonderfully it's like they can do no wrong a few little things to work on of course as always but in general what a game it's the best game I've seen them play all not even all season, for the last three years, maybe. Just going through the basics super well. Mabel with an amazing run through the middle. Go through the gaps, looking so smooth through those gaps there. Nice clean ball, straight back up to the halfway. Mimi again taking that ball on the on the move. So it's nice clean ball on the front foot. Scottish are way offside there. Nice hands from Constance Coker just gets tackled in the midfield. The ball's spilled out there, so Liv does really well to pick that up and tidy it up. Nice little run forward by uh, Liv there. There's no nine now, so forwards will have to clean up a little bit. Martha, as always, very solid in that cleanup. Pod will come off Mandy this time again. Great to see Mimi using some footwork. Lovely offload to Natalie. Unicorns are just looking so, so smooth through everything they're doing. Hands out from Constance to Mabel. There's a lot of space out wide again. Oh, pass was just wasn't quite there. Coco chips it forward, but I think referee's giving it as a knock-on. Not sure if that was a knock-on. It looked like a pass backwards from Mabel. Just didn't go to hand, but hey-ho. Right, ball spilled out again. Messy ball from Scottish. Constance is over it straight away. Nice battle from Constance. Very good work. Good steal from her. Presents it wonderfully as well through the legs behind her. Mabel looking for the pop off to live. Again. So now we're again in the danger zone. So this is where University need to 
settle down a little bit. This is what we've not done particularly well in this game. That's better. Take one pod. Look for another pod. Hands early this time, though. Florence just tries to suck the girl in and pass. Pass a little bit high to a nuke, but went backwards, says the referee. Very, very close to the line. So, again, as we mentioned, this is where unicorns need to get better at this. Where the space is out wide. Constance looks, 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 but doesn't pass the ball. Tries to offload it to Mabel. The girls are very flat at this point, so not much surge forward. So, this is where we want to really reset. Out of Florence. And he's got a lot of space out here. Doesn't quite get the ball to hand, though. She's got a lot of space out wide, though. You know how fast she is. I think Anouk's going to make all the way around to the side. Anouk's made a try out of, I won't say nothing. I think Unicorns had the right idea. Just made it hard for themselves. Uh, that could be much easier. All you needed was uh, a forward taking that first hit or sucking in the defenders. Anouk to be a bit wider and then that would be much easier. However, we know what Anouk can do with a bit of space. So she done a great job picking up that ball. It was a bit messy. She got plenty of speed and strength to force her way over that line. Great work from Anouk. Again, University, even though they're trying to force it a little bit close to the line, going to half time. 27-0. Great first half from Unicorns. So a wonderful half from uh, Unicorns. Um, we've seen a lot of what I consider perfect rugby from them, uh, what we've been working on for the last few years, just kind of building through the phases, Everyone doing the jobs that they should be doing. Forwards banging it up. Backs out wide. Lovely, lovely hands. And it's going super well. An especially poignant game. Um, so it's something that we talked to the girls about, about uh, making Alex proud. And, and that first half was, was just a, a, real, a real example of, 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 of that, I think. So anyway... Going to the second half, a um, few changes made in the second half. So uh, University just feeling comfortable enough that to, to, to start making some changes across the park. Nice hands out from Constance, but just goes awry at the end. Tanisha much better this time, just surging forward, backing herself. Lovely pop off to Row as well. Big hit on Row though. Good tackle from, uh, from Scottish. Pick and go from Martha. Great meters made from a pick and go. You don't usually make many meters from a pick and go. So very strong by uh, by Martha. Jamie does a second pick and go. Oh, Natalie almost has the perfect uh, run onto it. Nice hands from Constance. Oh, just didn't quite get a hand to to row. Fonz gets smashed. Now, uh, but. Oh, she's still got the ball. She picked it up. She put it down. She put it down again. She picked it up again. She's gone again. <laughs> Martha was on her on her shoulder there. I think if, if she'd have popped it off, she might have been away there. But um, good intelligence by uh, by Florence there. She knows the rule. She was tackled. No one was holding on to her. She let the ball go on the floor. She stood up, picked it up. Got tackled again. Went to the floor. Left the ball. Stood up. Picked it up again. So nothing wrong with that. So first time in the second half now, Scottish have a go to run. The centre has been looking pretty dangerous with her running, but nice tackle from Jamie. Very effect effective finger tackle. And she said about her technique is unusual, but it works. So we'll leave her at that. Unicorn's really getting ready in defence. Oh yeah. They've got to be careful she doesn't go offside. I know we're very keen to go up, but uh, really have to wait till that ball's popped out. Luckily, referee hasn't pinged anything yet. So again, University have time to set up in defense. Good search forward by everyone. Come to meet the, the Scottish girls. They do make a few meters forward though. So they continue on with the, with the uh, pressure onto University now. Nice hands by Scottish. Goes out wide. 
Find a bit of space. Coco with a fantastic cover cover tackle. That was a great tackle by Coco. Coco's made some amazing hits in this game, to be fair. Mabel somehow has stolen it. She's always looking for that steal. Mabel's very, very good at that steal. She's been unfairly pinged in the past by referees, but actually she's she's very quick onto the ball as the second second uh, defender. Sometimes unfairly gets pinged for it because she's so fast and so good at it. High tackle this time on Martha, so uh, referee's playing advantage. So again, University just soaking up all the pressure, letting Scottish go through the hands. Uh, a couple times, Scottish were making a bit of meters from the tackles, but overall, Unicorn's looking pretty uh, comfortable there. So Martha with a great surge. Mimi again running onto that ball. Mimi's done a fantastic job this game of taking that ball running. It, it's like... All the forwards have been doing it to to an extent, but I think Mimi's just been literally like screaming onto that ball. Lovely play from University. Oh, Coco was a little bit too flat there, so couldn't take the, the the pop. Tanisha's got a bit of space out wide now. She's very quick. She just about gets tackled. Pops up in the air. Can't quite see what's going on out there. Tanisha with a great break. See the difference. No silly step inside. Just go for it. Put your foot, you know, put the uh, accelerator down and just go, go, go. And we can see what Tanisha can do. She's got some real pace to burn on the wing. So Nat taking up for the next pod. Oh, and she was close enough to actually go over. So great work from Nat. I think uh, what they were working for was maybe take one or two hits and then go out wide. But this all came from wonderful hands by University. So again, we, we get on the front foot. Look how deep we're playing. I say to the girls all the time, when it gets out to the backs, don't worry about being deep because what you're doing is creating space. So yeah, you start a bit further back, but what you end up doing is go forward. Look at this. Tanisha with a bit more space. I feel like she can run faster than that. T, I think you can run faster than that. But she's great to keep the ball in bounds. Very nice little pop-off. She knew she was going to get pulled out. So great job from T. That's what I want to see. Not trying to step inside. Just use that pace. Go out wide. Natalie, I think, was just doing her right job, her proper job of just smashing it up, ready for the next phase, next phase. But she was strong enough to get over that nice. try line. So wonderful work from University. Again, just going through the phases, hitting her up through the forwards, getting out wide in the backs. And then once it gets out wide in the backs, it was great to see. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I think it's something that, that Unicorns can work on a little bit. Pet's just unlucky. Tries to catch that ball with her hands. She pops it forward. Um, yeah, as I was mentioning, I think with the backs, just have to be comfortable in going deep. It feels uncomfortable when it goes out wide and you're so deep. But the point is with with um, the backs is you're trying to buy yourself time and space. So don't worry too much about being on the gain line. Okay, when it goes out wide, we're creating space out wide. So you can be deep to give yourself time and space to run into. So... We saw just then that was the perfect example of it. Coco just did another huge tackle. Coco's been an absolute demon in defense. Wonderful work by Coco in defense. Scottish again piling on the pressure so we can see more changes have happened. I think uh, at this point Unicorn's a, a comfortable lead so it's nice to see more and more changes come in so we can uh, have more experience with some of the other girls who are on the bench. Some of the bomb squad coming on to help out Fresh, uh, fresh pair of legs. Again. I know I've said things about uh, Jamie's tackle technique before, but again, it, it's, it's proving effective again against the big girl there. Nice little swing around. Just be careful. Don't break a finger. Great double tackle by Amy and Natalie. They pop the ball up though. Mabel again. Wonderful work to keep the girl up. They just got to keep them up now. That's a maul. I think referees call it as a maul. So all we got to do now is just not let that ball come out. Ball's gone down. Referee's got to call it, surely. Referee said he could see the ball. It was available for Scottish. So he continues on. A little pop and try. That was unlucky by Unicorns. We have talked about it in the past about that maul. Um, I think what happened is Unicorns, as soon as uh, the maul was called, just need to hold on to that ball, not let go. Referee called the, uh, 
continued on with the play because as the as the Scottish girls went down, the ball was there to be played. So so he was happy to play on. But if if it was tied up in a big mass of bodies, then it would have been our ball. Coco just overrun it a little bit again. Gotta keep that depth. It was on there out wide. Just gotta make sure we don't overrun that that pass. Referee saying uh, off their feet, I think. So we go again. Again, Unicorn's given away a, a, a try, but it looks like they're really up for like getting back up there. That's what's nice to see. Very aggressive run by Natalie again. Did some great runs through this game. Next part is ready. Goes out the back though. Sneaky, sneaky. Out to Florence. Loops around row. Out to Anouk. Hands out to Coco. Again, just standing a little bit still. Standing a little bit flat. Just knock on. <laughs> T looked like she threw that ball in, in annoyance instead. Uh, referee's called a couple of uh, like full passes and knock-ons when it's actually gone through the hands backwards, but hey-ho. Right, uh, getting towards the end of the game, I want to give the player of the game to Mimi. Last week in training, we talked a lot about this idea of the, um, the forwards running onto the ball with a bit of pace. I think that all the forwards have been doing it really well. Um, it's been a huge improvement, marked improvement, but Mimi has been taking that ball flat, flat from from Mandy and running at some pace, and it and it's shown because the amount of meters that she's made from taking that ball running has been phenomenal. So wonderful work from uh, from Mimi. She is a player of the game today. As we uh, head towards the end of our game, great tackle by Florence as always. Not actually sure how long is left of this game, actually. Am I giving that a little bit early? <laughs> All right, nice hands from Scottish. So, again, unicorns have to defend. Uh, another point to note is uh, the defence today has been very, very good. Um, so, Scottish have had a few periods of pressure where they've had time to attack. Uh, we've managed to soak everything up. I think the try genuinely only came from a, a misunderstanding of how to defend them all because we all got sucked into them all to, to, to keep it up, which is the correct thing to do. But then we kind of let go as them all went down to let them get the ball and then there was no one out there to, to defend. So um, a work on point for this week. If we're defending them all and it's called as them all, just hold on to that girl with everything you have. All of you just grab onto it. Do not let that ball come out. But in general, defense has been uh, has been really good. There we go. Natalie's got one of her slams down that she does. It's one of her trademarks. I like to see. Nice tackle by uh, Jamie using her fingers and uh, Ro hitting hard. So again, everyone's doing reverting to their to their trademark uh, tackle technique. It's working though very well. Natalie's fighting for it, but she's not. She's she's off her feet there. Yeah, she's got to let go. Scottish defending Coco again. She's getting dragged by that girl, but slowed her down significantly. So Coco's been an absolute beast in defence. Big shout out to Coco in defence. Unicorns a battle for that. Push them off and manage to get the ball somehow. Wonderful work from Unicorns. James, next up. Oh, okay. So we go again, Mabel, taking it up, takes a big hit, recycles the ball well though. Jamie takes it up, gets past the first tackle. Lucy was there, nice uh, protection from Lucy. <laughs> Didn't quite see what happened there. Again, I think the ball went backwards, but referee keeps saying it went forward. Huge scrum again from Unicorns. But again, we've got to be careful. Uh, we don't go past that 1.5 meters. The stupid bloody rule. Anyway, in defense again. Coco again with the tackle. I'm not sure what her tackle count's been today, but it's been it's been up there. So many tackles. This number eight's been pretty dangerous. Constance as well to hold on to her, slow her down, force the offload. Mimi swinging the go around this time. Was it Mimi? Oh, no, not Mimi, sorry. Was it? Maybe. Who's down? Who's down? Yes! Let's fucking go! 
Oh, okay, there's been a clash of heads now between uh, Natalie and Mandy. So I think the referee might have to stop it in a second. Martha doesn't know, so she continues on in the aggressive way she, that she does. Recycles the ball. To be fair to the Scottish girl, she's, uh, yeah, so to Natalie, she went over to the referee and said, we got to stop this, it's been a head injury. So Mandy and Natalie had a bit of a clash of heads between each other, so we continue on with a uh, scrum. Nice hands by Unicorns. Florence in at nine now, feeding Jamie. Good footwork as always, makes a few meters. Nice clean ball every time. Mabel again aggressively running. Wonderful surge from Mabel again. She, she really runs well into that space. Scottish got their hands on it, but have to let go. Bit of a wild pass to Mimi, but again, she takes that ball really, really well. Player of the game showing why she got that accolade today. Still driving on. Wonderful work from Mimi. Have the back to Constance. Constance takes it up to contact. Pops it up to Row. Great work again from Unicorns. You work this again. Go through the phases. So we can top up today with, uh, with a try. Bit messy there. I don't know what happened. I don't. I don't know if it was legal. Scottish somehow have the ball back. Looked to me like it came in from the side, but okay. We'll continue on. Kick from Scottish. Anuk is back there to tidy up. Oh, she drops the ball. Went backwards, so we'll continue on. Coco with a bit of space. Lovely run from Coco. Aye. Nice pass to Jane. Jane just couldn't quite hold on to it. Knock on from Jane. And that will do it. So as I mentioned at the start of the game, uh, the girls really went into this game with uh, with the intent of uh, making Alex proud. Uh, this is in, in tribute to him. Huge part of the club. Huge part of this girls team of the Unicorns. He, he's he been there every step of the way, every step of the way the last couple of years. So um, I think it's a true tribute to him and how much he's helped the girls. Most of the time he, he works on the forwards and we just saw how great the forwards played today. I think that's really a tribute to him. Um, so overall, Unicorns uh, played absolutely wonderfully. Some wonderful rugby, some actual champagne rugby. And overall, I think just nice to see the girls going through the phases and doing what they should do. So that's it for this week. Uh, we start the second round of uh, fixtures next week with City. And we'll see you there. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.